Sandra. Welcome to another episode of Make Money, Make Cash. This is the place to be if you want a side hustle, if you want to know how to make money online, in the dirt, in the trenches, a little bit at a time. So um, this is my other eBay account. So if you saw my last video, you'll see that I set up a new eBay store with inspirational uh, things and this video is showing you my other store so I've had an eBay store since 2014 and uh, just before Christmas I decided to revive it because I hadn't listed any new items on there for a while now the good thing about this account is it's already got you know seven reviews that you know this seven here means I've got seven reviews so reviews can be from people who you've bought stuff off, not just people buying from you. And when you get reviews of people um, that you bought stuff from, it still goes towards building trust with your audience and potential new audience. So you'll see that although at the moment I haven't sold anything in my inspiration inspired eBay store, my new one, I have sold three items um, in the last 90 days. Actually, I've sold these three items uh, since Christmas so since after Christmas um so I'm really happy about that yeah it's it's 23 10 you know and there's fees to come out of that there's postage to come out of it but at the end of the day you know some people aren't selling anything online they're doing nothing they're just all talk and no action you know if you just start saying a little bit online it'll get your confidence up you know this is all about me trying different items out that I haven't sold in the past that I no should sell well, I believe should sell well. It's all about getting a few items, few quantity and just testing it out, you know. And so when it says unsold, it, I have one in an auction at the moment, which is like sponsored and that hasn't sold. So the other three that have sold weren't in an auction, you know. So how do you get um, the ones that, you know, that were sold to sell? Basically, you have to have really good SEO, you know, you have to have keywords, in the title that people are searching for and eBay often makes suggestions anyway when you set the account up. So I just wanted to give you a sneaky peek into the fact that you know you can make money online. Yes, it's a tiny amount, but at the end of the day, we've all got to start somewhere and start small. This account I haven't used for quite some time. So just reviving it after Christmas, you know. Uh, it was this thing that I put on there, first of all. And that ends in one day and 18 hours. So, yeah, so it says 25th of January. So, and it started on the 18th of January. This is the thing, actually, that didn't uh, sell. So, um, and it's a shame because I did sell this on Marketplace for um, £3. And I bought it for one. So, it just goes to show you that some products that will sell it on other sites... Uh, it won't necessarily sell on eBay. So, but yeah, I thought I put this on just before Christmas, but I might have put it on just after because I was poorly and still on antibiotics over Christmas. Um, so yeah, um, and this is going again now. So yeah. Um, anyway, I just sort of give you a sneaky peek into you know what what went on. But yeah, like I said, I sold this on Facebook Marketplace. I've even got a video that I haven't posted yet to show you that I sold this item on Facebook Marketplace. And like I said, I bought it for one and sold it for three. So it's like a, you know, 200%, um, you know, profit, basically. 200% profit. So because with Facebook Marketplace, there's no fees like there is on eBay. You don't have PayPal fees. Um, PayPal have fees, um, you know, to, for you when you sell an item, um you have fees from eBay as well. So it's just like, you know, you've got to account for that and packaging and everything like that. With Facebook Marketplace, people often collect from your home, so you've got no packaging, you've got no um, no costs for fees or anything like that. So Facebook Marketplace, you know, is, is better if you just want to make X amount of pounds as it is without having to take fees out. But, you know, I love this personally myself. It's a glitter shaker. Um, I'm surprised it hasn't sold, to be honest. So I'm thinking maybe it's to do the photograph because obviously I've got it where all the little bits are shimmering down. Or maybe it's just because it's more for Christmas because of the snowflakes in the background. 
so who knows but at the end of the day um it hasn't had many page views either so obviously there must be something there that i'm missing with seo so it can be improved anyway i just thought I'd give you a little insight and you might be thinking so what did i actually sell um well i've actually been selling trolls if you want to know so um the things that have been selling is these trolls here and um i bought this troll and um well i had a few of these poppy trolls and i had a guy diamond i bought uh them for two pounds i sold the last two trolls for four pounds each and i sold the first one for five eighty so um i made good profit on the first one the other two not so much about one pound thirty eight something like that one roughly when between one pound thirty one pound thirty eight every time you, you've taken all the fees out for postage packaging and everything else they pay for the postage but you still got to count for the packaging paypal fees and also ebay fees so do you know what i mean it's it's you know when you've got two pound but then you charge another two pound you know the four pound you still got ebay fees which are 10 percent of the whole thing so you've got 10 percent coming out of the item so you got 40p and then the the, the three pound 10 post on top you've got another 31p so you got 40 50 60 71 p coming out um of the four pounds so you know that's taking it down then you've got packaging you know i had to buy envelopes so you have to divide the amount of money you paid for the envelopes the jiffy bag envelopes by how many's in the packet by how many used and then if you think account for things like seller tape um that i used as well so yeah i saved 10p on postage for getting it through ebay um because you can print off ebay labels um and save yourself by royal mail and save yourself some time doing it that way but sometimes the local post office complains if you take royal mail and they're an independent post office and you take royal mail items in there so so yeah i'm in the trenches here um and i just wanted literally to you know show you i mean this is the one i last sold um i just popped that in the post last night pay dispatched and it'll be delivered soon this is guy diamond i absolutely love the trolls because i love all this type of thing myself the frozen movies the trolls it really helps if you love what you sell and if you know what you sell because it's so much easier than to recommend to other people to keep in contact with your buyers to make conversation with them you know i've been in, in touch with this person it's for their daughter's birthday they bought one of these and they also bought um a poppy one as well off me they made me an offer of four pounds so i accepted it because they bought one of the poppies at four pounds i had for four pound 80 listed instead of five pound 80 original one so you've got to go up and down the trends you have to change your prices on ebay you can't keep them the same all the time um if you want to sell stuff so yeah but i'm pleased you know i've sold three items it's more than some people are bothering to do you know and the more you sell stuff, the more you're going to get used to it, you know. And as these trolls are selling well, um, at the moment I might get some more. But obviously trends can change. So you don't want to get too much stock. Sometimes it's better just to sell out of something and then get some more. Um, if you think that, you know, the trend is still going that way. But if you think, you know, they're likely to die off and something else come out soon. Then, you know, you might want to hold back or just buy less amounts of them um but yeah these these little ones i bought before lockdown in the uk and at the moment this shop's just set to uk so obviously people can't get hold of these stuff so easily anymore um i know where i can buy more of these if they still got any left um in a different place to where i originally bought them because where i originally bought them don't sell them anymore at the moment as far as i'm aware but i think they're more expensive you know you've got to be making a profit at the end of the day you've got to be making some money because you know unless you're just doing it to raise brand awareness um you know if you're if you're really going to make a full-time job out of this and sometimes you might have to lose a little bit of money to you know on a certain item you might promote for example to raise brand awareness but you've got to be doing that strategically and have enough budget for it do you know what i mean you don't want to be doing that ideally you you, you know you want to buy items to sell on for a profit um so when you're buying items look how much they cost in the first place so you know um this tells you how many items two sold and eight active remaining in january and then this shows you how much money you can you can make uh in a month that they allow you to make uh depending on how your settings are so monthly selling allowances you can sell up to 500 items or 
£10,000 per month, whichever comes first. It's free to list, 999 remaining. So you can actually list up to a 1,000, but the monthly sale allowance is 500 items or £10,000 per month, whichever comes first. Um, yeah, and you can have promotions where you can... It costs you less money sometimes to sell an item with their promotions they've got on or less to post it. So if you use a different service than Walmart, for example. So, yeah, um, it's always worth going on eBay, you know, selling old stuff, decluttering your home. I've got a third store that I've set up just to sell stuff, my personal stuff. This actually I've put through as business stock. Um, so, yeah, um, and the Inspiration Spy is business stock as well. And I've set up a third personal account just to sell my personal items off. I used to sell personal items from this account. Um, so, yeah, I, I switched it to a business one. Um, not, on, not on eBay, it's still personal because I'm not selling enough items to make a business out of it yet. Even though it, I bought it with business money, if you understand what I mean. Um... But, you know, I've set up another account on eBay just to sell personal items from home. But I might need to use the other account to actually, you know, spend money from um, for a time, you know, um, to get reviews up. But then, you know, if you've got no money in there um, because you've just set that one up, then you kind of need to sell some lower price stuff first on your personal account. So it's only because this store's got 100% positive feedback that it's more popular. Um, because obviously I've got previous feedback in there. It instills trust in the potential customer. And these feedback don't have to be from buyers. They can be someone you've bought from. So if you see here, I've got four positive feedback ratings from the last 12 months. So this one here says, good buyer, prompt payment, valued customer. And then you can go on to the next one. Great communication, a pleasure to do business with. The next one. Thank you for an easy, pleasant transaction. Excellent buyer, A, with loads of pluses. Now, when someone puts that, it really grabs people's attention because they know that you're going to be easy and pleasant to actually transact with you know which is what you want and you know i've done a shop that's very different i've put some hearts on there i've put create your own destiny this is actually one of my youtube um video pictures and i just thought it's so positive and people love positivity at the moment you know in fact i've got 100 percent positive feedback on there and you know people want to be inspired and feel positive at the moment it's really good you know i might stick some of my inspiration inspired um posters uh, and even maybe ones in photo frames on this store because obviously I've already got an established following on this store, an established, you know, base of customers and potential customers that have bought from me before. So, and people I've transacted with, you know. So, um, and then, you know, excellent transactions again. Fantastic eBay seller, highly rate recommend, you know, and this is um, someone I sold an item to. So this was the last time I sold an item was the 30th of September 2019 before this year. Now, the other ones I've people I've bought from, but you can see that I hadn't used this shop for a year and four or five months. So 30th of September 2019, you can see it's a long time since I've used it. So do you see what I mean? Um, you can revive an old eBay store and if it's got previous reviews on there, then it's better to revive that one and get yourself off to a fantastic start. And it's good, like I said, to buy things um, from people on eBay because that way people give you feedback. I give feedback to people who've bought from me. Now, when someone's bought stuff from me, a lot of the time I will give a review to them to say what an excellent buyer they've been, you know, and then sometimes they'll give you a review back. You know, you can always ask for feedback if they don't give it to you, um, if you want to, you know, it depends on the customer, if you feel like they'll be satisfied and write a good review for you, you know, um, if it's been smooth transaction, you've got on well, 
Um, so yeah, there we have it. Um, if you've got an old eBay shop, do revive it. If you've got a new eBay shop, try and buy items through that particular eBay store account so that you get some positive feedback from people you buy from. And um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And hit that bell icon to get notified of every time I post a new video or go live. And uh, don't forget to share this video with anyone you think may benefit from it. And tell your friends about this channel so it'll help them to make money, make cash. Don't forget you've all got to start somewhere. Um, from humble beginnings, you can build an absolute massive empire if you wish to. Or you can just get a bit of spare cash. It's up to you and uh, up to you to explore and find out what works for you, what doesn't and just enjoy life really. So yeah, um, and if you want to summarise the main points of this video, please do so for yourself and the community. Um, when we actually write down what we've learnt from a video, we're more likely to instil it in our mind, which is what we want. Um, so we can learn new ways of working that are better for us to make money, make cash online. Until next time, see you soon.